Hello everyone, I'm The Educated Natural and I wanna take this moment to just thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of my new subscribers. Wow, I'm so excited to have you all here. Thank you, hello, welcome back to all of my returning subscribers, my OGs, the ones that's been rocking with me for years. May God continue to bless you as well. Listen, today's video is a answer to a question that I have received over and over again from those of you that have watched my previous rhinestone video. If you are a person that's looking to save a few dollars, actually it's probably more than a few, if you're looking to save some money doing rhinestones by not purchasing rhinestone flock, then you need to watch that video and see what this is all about. But in today's video, I want to tell you about how and what I use to cut my template, especially when I use cardstock. So if you're interested in finding out how in the world, Kim, do you manage to get every circle cut out in your templates, then you have arrived at the right place at the right time. Welcome to the Educated Natural Channel. And as I always say here, I will never leave you uneducated. So if you're curious as to how and what I use, then stick around. Let's get right into it. Okay, now many of you have either a silhouette cameo, a cricket, whether it's an air or a maker. Some of you even have the solo, but you're all running into the same problem. It doesn't matter if you're using flock or if you're using cardstock. We're all running into the same problem. The issue is when you cut out your designs, you're, you keep seeing your circles half cut out. When you go to separate, whether it's the cardstock or the flock off of your mat, and you hold up your design and you try to get all those circles out of there, you realize some of them may not have cut out appropriately. And now you have to go and be MacGyver with your Zacto knife or whatever cutting hand cutting utensil you may have trying to get that circle cut out. Well, I'm here today to offer a suggestion, hopefully, which is the goal here, a solution to that issue. Last year, my auto blade, the one that came with my silhouette cameo, gave up the ghost, y'all. It just broke. I don't know how it broke. I don't even know what happened because up until that point, I was only cutting vinyl and easy subway. That may have done it. Either way, all I know is I heard my machine go, ah, the worst sound as a crafter you would love, like to hear. Like you don't even want to hear this sound, the sound that I heard. And I immediately turned around because my cutter is right there. I immediately turned around and was like, what in the world? Now I know for all of my Cameo fellow users, the cameo is loud anyway. It's not up for delay. It is what it is. But that sound was even louder. And I knew something had went terribly wrong. So because I love y'all, I want to want y'all to see what my blade looks like now. I kept it as a reminder of, oh my goodness, <laughs> this could happen to anybody. So let me get the parts out here. This is my blade that came with my cameo. Don't y'all look at my nails. I haven't done all right, this was the actual auto blade. This is the cap. <laughs> it completely broke. You see that in there? You see that crack that's down in there? That's not supposed to be there. It cracked. My, it cracked this blade. So I couldn't use it anymore. I tried to screw the top back on it, but it's cracked all the way through. I can't use it anymore. I don't know what happened. It happened. So I was in the middle of a job for a client, and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I to do now? Well, like most people, what do you do? To Amazon we go. So I ran to Amazon to find a replacement blade. Of course, during that time, a lot of things were sold out and I couldn't find the right blade. So I had to think, think fast on my feet. So 
I went to some other YouTuber videos to see what they use, and I said, oh my goodness, this just may work because they had it in stock. Now you're probably wondering, Kim, what are you talking about at this point, right? Hold on, I'm gonna get to that. This particular blade came in, y'all, in the clutch. I needed it, it cost of Amazon, it gets it here fast. I ordered the blade, and when I tell you I was blown away, I've been using it every time I cut anything. This is my go-to. I haven't even thought about buying another auto blade or any other silhouette blade. I haven't thought about any of that since I've had this blade. Now, let me not keep you in suspense any longer. What am I talking about? I'm talking about none other than the CB09 blade. If you have never heard of this blade, you, my friend, are doing your cutter and yourself a disservice. This blade has saved my hind many times over since I've had it. Everything I cut out comes out clean. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter how thick the things that I've cut out has been, haven't had a single issue. So if you're a person that does rhinestone templates, it doesn't matter if you're using flock, it doesn't matter if you're using cardstock or anything in between, this blade is what you need to pick up ASAP. And yes, I'm going to leave a link for it in the description of this video because I want to make sure my crafters stop struggling over there trying to get all these dots and circles and whatever else you're cutting out apart from the scraps. But before you go all over the place trying to look for one, I'm going to show you exactly what the CB09 blade looks like. And then I'm going to give you a close up of mine, okay? So let's head over to Amazon so you can see exactly what I'm referring to when I say the CB09 blade. And here we are, right here on Amazon. This, as you can see, is the CB09U or the CB09. Typically, this blade is used for the graph tech, but believe it or not, you can use it in your silhouette cameo as well as any Cricut machine. You just have to make sure that your particular cutter has the adapters to it. I will show you all of that in just a moment, but I want to show you the actual thing on Amazon. As you can see, the one thing I love about this, this is the actual holder here for the blade. These are the blades. These are what they look like and the angles of which they cut at. You have a 60 degree blade, you have the 45 degree blade, and you have the 30 degree blade. Many of us cut all sorts of things in all sorts of sizes. So you're not just sitting there just with one blade that you have to continue to adjust. You can get this blade. All of these blades come with your, look, look at that, look at that price. $15.98, do you know how much one auto blade costs? <laughs> it's way more than $15.98, I can tell you that much. But I'm here to tell you, if you're a person that says, look, I just need my stuff to work right. I wanna be able to do this once, you know, forget it, set it, forget it and quit it. That's what you want. Get you this blade. I thought it was all hype to you all. I really did. But I quickly found out it is not hype. If I scroll down here on this page, it tells you right here the degrees that each blade cut and what it's typically used for. For instance, the 45 degree blade, it says right here, you usually use that to cut vinyl. The 30 degree blade, you usually use that to cut like window tint, something really thin. But for those of you that likes to cut thick things, you need that 60 degree blade. I'm telling you, when it came to my card stock, especially my 100 plus pound card stocks, this thing cut through that stuff like a breeze. So let me show you a close up of what I'm talking about. When I received my Cameo, my Cameo came with adapters. Okay, I have the Cameo 4 by the way. These are the adapters. Now, I went through all the adapters I had and this was the one that fit number one. This is the one that fit my CBO9, okay? 
So you may have to go through, see which one fits yours, but this one is the one that worked for me. As you all know, Silhouette comes with all these different ones. So pick the one that works for your machine. Here is my CBO9 that I use. Now the one unique thing you will notice about mine, it has this sticker around here. I got this sticker idea from a fellow YouTuber a while back. I cannot remember her name, but if I do, I will definitely put it down below. I cannot remember her name right now. But this was not my original idea. This was her idea, and I said, oh my goodness, I need that. What it is is a sticker. I just took a piece of sticker paper. I cut it to fit around this blade, as you see. And I she she the, the file that she sent comes with the numbers already on there. All you have to do is put it on your blade and make a marking. Let me see if you can see my mark. Let me see where's my mark here. I took a black permanent pen. See that mark right there? And I marked it. That's my center point. That's my zero. That's where you can't even feel the blade. That's my zero. Depending on what I'm cutting, I'm able to turn here, which makes the blade that's inside of here come out according to the number that I have on here. Let me take a second as close so you guys can see. It's numbered. See? It's numbered. All the way from zero, all the way around. It's numbered all the way to 10. Okay? It's numbered. So that way, if I know if I'm cutting vinyl, I don't need it all the way on 10. <laughs> I can pull the blade back. I can take it out of my Cameo, you know, turn the blade down, do my test cuts, and make sure that what I'm cutting, the blade is out far enough, but not too far. Because like any blade, whether it's the blade that comes with the machine or this one, if you have your blade too high, you could damage your machine and you don't want to do that. So because I love you all, I'm going to take this apart. Because I want you to see that when you order it off of Amazon, it's not going to come like this, obviously. So when you order it off of Amazon, the black cap comes off. This is where the actual blades that I mentioned beforehand are. You look in there, my blade is sitting on the inside of there. There's a spring on that blade as well. Okay? This is the blade, and that is the spring. You guys can see that, but put my hand behind it. All right. All right, so what you do is, when you receive this from Amazon or wherever you decide to purchase it from, it'll come like this without the paper on it, of course. It'll come like this, like it did in the picture that I showed you earlier off the website. You will take this apart. All right, the black cap comes off. You will select which blade depending on what you're cutting, you want. These are all the blades that came that come with the CBO9, like in the picture from the website I just showed you. These are all the blades. You have the red ones. Come on, camera. Uh, there we go. All right, you have the red ones, which are, which are your 45 degrees. You have your yellow ones. All right, your yellow ones are your 60 degrees, those are your deep cuts. And then you have your blue ones, okay? All right, and your blue ones are your 30 degrees. You select which blade you want, you pull it out of the pack, like so. You take the spring, every blade in these packs have springs. You put the spring, on your blade, just slip it right on there. Okay, that's your chosen blade. You take your CBO9 housing. You put the blade in butt first, obviously. Just in case somebody didn't know, butt first. Ah, I dropped my blade. <laughs> well, that's a blooper for you. And nope, I'm not ending it out either. All right, you put your blade in. <laughs> like maybe you redo that. All right, put your spring back on there. Careful how you grip, grip the blade. I don't want nobody to get stuck because these things are very sharp, so be careful. Get your butt. That's the butt of the blade because it might go axe. There you go, that's the butt. 
It's very, it's, it's the, it's the non-sharp part. How about that? You take it and you drop it dead center down inside of the CBO knife. All right. Let me look at what I'm doing. I'm talking about y'all. All right. Boom. There it is. You drop the blade in there. Now you can put your cap back on there. Be careful. Do not stick yourself. I am not responsible. You should tighten that all the way down. All right. And you're all set. All you have to do now, when I find this template, I will link it below. That way you can download it, save it on your computer, whatever. You can print it off on whatever sticker paper you want and put it on your blade. I will make it easy for you. Trust me, this has been a lifesaver for me. And then you have to go through the tedious process of determining, based on what you're cutting, where you need this little thing to be set at. It took me a while. It takes everybody a while, so don't feel bad to kind of get these where you need it to be. This blade up, down, you're gonna keep taking the blade up and down depending on what you're cutting. As you find that perfect spot for whatever it is you're cutting, put it in your notebook, put it in your journal, put it somewhere where you can reference back to it. Now, what a lot of people do is they buy several of these. And each one of these is set where they don't have to worry about going up or down. Meaning, you get one for vinyl, you find the perfect spot for vinyl, HTV. Boom, you set that blade, you label it, bag it, whatever. You get another one. You set this one for your 60 degree blade. Boom, whatever you're cutting thick, thick card stock, whatever. Boom, you set it. You don't have to worry about moving it anymore. You just have to change out the blades now. You don't have to worry about moving the needle up and down anymore or the blade up and down anymore. You just grab it. It's already set. You ready to rock and roll. But I wanted to come on really quickly to tell you guys about the CB09 blade. You can get them, as you saw, right there on Amazon. So stop getting on lives. Stop getting on pre-recorded videos saying my stuff didn't cut right. I'm giving you the golden nugget right now, today. Head over to Amazon or click the link below. Get your CB09 blade while they are still in stock. Because I guarantee you, if this video blows up like my rhinestone car stock video did, child, you're going to be out of luck because these things are going to go fast, especially at this price. If you have a can, if you have a Cricut, I don't know what the settings are for Cricut because I don't own a Cricut. I'm a Cameo user. I mean, but if you want to send me a Cricut, I would love to, you know, I'll take it. But you can also use the CB09 blade for a Cricut as well as for a Cameo. Matter of fact, TRW, the man name is Matt. He uses the CB09. So if you are a follower of his, Trust me, this is what he uses when he's over there on his lives and he's cutting out all those rhinestone templates. This is the secret sauce to rhinestone templates. Oh my goodness. Okay, I had to stop. I had to stop. I'm all, I almost gave y'all too much, okay? So listen, if you want to cut flock and if you want to cut cardstock while doing rhinestone templates, Go now, go get the CB09 blade. You can get it off of Amazon like I showed you earlier. What are you waiting for? If you wanna know why you should run over and get that blade because you still don't get it yet and you haven't seen my other video, then what are you waiting for? Click this video right here, mm -hmm. the one over here, there, everywhere, wherever it's gonna be at, click the screen and it's gonna let you see me use that CB09 to do my own rhinestone template. And no, I did not use plot. I use some thickening flop, which was cardstock. You want to see it in action? Click the video.